And we are back. For ah. more bullying. Yeah. We, uh, this game decided that it wanted to fuck up three times. Three times? Yeah. We just, but like, we just wanted to start the game. Yeah, we tried to start the game, and every time we hit load, it would just freeze the entire Windows system. Like, mouse wouldn't move, nothing would happen. So we've been trying to fucking start recording for today. Maybe 40 minutes. <laughs> You're welcome, Dan. Shit! Yeah. God damn it, Dan. I haven't heard from you in a while. I'm going to hold you physically accountable for our own bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that we can't seem to put down a game. Shit! Yeah, you're gonna have to get out of there. You're wearing the oh, mascot no. outfit. Plus, I mean, it might have to do with the respect, but... I think it has to do with the respect. Yeah, because you're negative 100. How can they tell it's not the same guy in the bull costume? I don't know, man, because they probably know you beat him up and stole his costume. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna get fucked if you stop. You better not stop. The, uh... I was trying run, to hear run, what run, 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 run. So, we're almost done with this chapter. Come on, Ferdinand, get in there. Who's Ferdinand? Uh, it's a classic children's story, Ferdinand the Bull. Really? Yeah. That doesn't sound familiar. I mean, it kind of yeah. sounds familiar, but it doesn't really sound familiar. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> we've, dude, that's not how we've women seen work. this before, right? Yeah, in the serial killer movie. Yeah. Ew. Oh, man. Ew, look at his no. red bloodshot eyes. and Oh, I like how he takes it off. <laughs> that's actually fucking clever. Look how dapper we look with it off, too. Yeah, well, that's because your hair is all greasy. Mm. I'm wearing the fucking helmet all day. Or that, the uh, furry head. What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> oh man, this is so Take cringy. Me to the hay bar. <laughs> What's that you're reading? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Mm. Some, some I wonder if you need to have the bull costume for this. I think you might. Because you had to steal it before, so. Look I think at these great lip syncings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, it's all on point. I just want to imagine that his, you know, there's still the, you know. Us with the head on, even though it's not there. I almost want to Photoshop it on every time. I kind of do too. I'd rather them just talk through the rest of the game with that bull costume on. <laughs> Save on the lip syncing. Yeah. Like, ah, fuck it. We don't have to fuck it. Poor bull does have a tail. Was he like Goku who just got it taken away? It's actually a clever. Yeah. Observation. Observation. Like, why? Why wouldn't he have a tail? I imagine it was because of animation, and they didn't want to have like a loose appendage. Oh. Like, uh, ragdoll physics for a tail. Yeah. Do the cow dance. Left trigger and A mm. to do the cow dance. Oh, Use perfect. the cow dance to get jocks to leave you alone. Wow. Oh, oh wow. Me? Quick time event. Hooray. Everyone loves these. This is actually probably back when quick times were just starting out, too. Okay, yeah. No, you're right. It's, uh... It's probably... This is pre-God of War, I believe. So it's definitely before it got Which stale. the new God of War looks pretty good. I'm not going to play it. Well, we don't know if it... Is it, is it shown any gameplay? Yeah, they or actually is have it shown just, some gameplay. I thought it was all like pre-rendered shit. No, I saw some gameplay today. It looks, looks good. Okay. I'm not going to play it, but it looks good. I mean, after... <clears throat> I think it was number two, I stopped playing. Um, I really like number one. And speaking of cows, I found out they had the cow costume. Mm -hmm. That, like, the, the cow-tos instead of cow -tosis? Kratos. No, cow-tos instead of Kratos. And he has, like, udders, and, he, and his uh, little hand blades are turned into, uh, uh, like, jugs of milk. So he's, like, slamming jugs of milk around into his enemies. I was like, this is hilarious! <laughs> I never actually played the game as yeah. Kratos. I played it as cow-tos. <laughs> That's It was amazing. Great. I can't remember the, the fucking cheat or whatever, but I got it right away, and like right on the boat, you're able to play as Kautos. And I was like, that's fucking hilarious. That's a great pun. Um, is I played through the. F I played through four of the. I played. A Wait, did I play all five? I think I may have played all five of them. Holy shit. There was really? um, three. I, did, I stopped when it, like Titan's starting to get involved. Well, I stuff. didn't buy all of them. My brother had the collection, and I was mm -hmm. on break. So I was like, I was, oh, I've Where you going? Sorry, my bad. Um, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't buy them. I was them. during college and my break happened and my brother had the collector's edition and he also had God of War 3. And before yeah. I played God of War 3, I wanted to play the first two. So I ran through those, had a pretty good time. I think two is probably the one I liked the most. Was number two the one with like the harpies and shit like that? I believe so. You were on point. like the island yeah. um, type area. Yeah, I, I just think like there the, was harpies. I like the environment. It felt more um, Whoa. cohesive. Whoa. Whoa! I mean, I I didn't, I, I guess I knew it was gonna explode, but like he was like tweaking out while it happened. That added to it. Um, 
I don't I don't think I own number two. Or maybe I didn't own number one. I can't remember. I rented one of them and beat it in like a day. Yeah, and then I borrowed the two PSP ones from my brother. We were on Christmas break and he just there handed me the PSP ones? Yeah, there's PSP ones. They're actually really good. Um, they're made by the same guys, I think, that made Daxter for the PSP. Okay. I mean, that they makes were, sense. They were solid. They played really well. They looked really good for PSP. It's not a bad well. game. It's just, no, it no. is what it is. It's what, a hack and slash? Yeah, but just like, a hack and slash with, with like, loose controls. And, yeah. My younger brother really does not like it, though. Look at that whipped cream. I mean, it's yeah, so it's, it's not delicious. supposed to be the most amazing game in the world. It's supposed yeah. to be just a hack and slash, like, Dante, uh, what is it, uh... Oh shit! Not Dante, Dante. Do the bull, do the bull dance. Um, not Dante Vera, the subscriber, but uh, Dante from Devil May Cry. Mm -hmm. Much like that, right? Yeah, but Dante um, from Devil May Devil May Cry had a much more intricate combo system. Mm -hmm. God of War was very simplistic, from what I remember. Hit X four times and you slam him to the ground, right? Kind was it of, wait? Yeah. Wasn't even the quick time event just X at the right time? No, they had different buttons to press. Okay. They had those, like four different quadrants that you could hit for different button combinations. God of War was much simpler. I think it was all X, and mm -hmm. then you had th two other abilities you had. You had some magic and stuff like that. Most of it came down to timing for the X button, mm -hmm. whereas Devil May Cry liked to blend different weapons in together and chain them together, from what I remember. Okay. It's so, been like... a while since I've played them, and I only really played... Four extensively. I played. I think three, that might have been the only one I ever even one saw. One a little bit, but I played four extensively. And three, I never got. I never got past the twin boss. That game was really hard, and I always found it. I only tried it a couple times. I think it was either three or four that I played. But uh, four was nice and accessible. Mm -hmm. um, DMC was fun. Which one was the one with with emo? Dante? That was DMC. It was actually much better than. But I mean, what is that a number one or is it just no? Called it's called DMC. DMC. Okay. It's not a number title. Okay. Three well, was I, really. I don't cool. know if I played three or four then. <laughs> three was really cool, but it was so hard because you weren't able to get HP back really. Mm. I reached a point where I had to fight the twin boss, and there was no way for me to get HP again. Um, mm -hmm. There was nothing. There was nowhere to farm in that game, from what I could figure out. So I was stuck fighting a boss that I wasn't good enough to beat oh. with no way to get my HP back or buy HP recovery items to fight the boss. Yeah, I, I, I had similar stuff like that happen in Final Fantasy, I think, 9. Where, yeah. Where you had to split up with two party members each, Ooh. and one of them was underpowered as fuck, so I couldn't beat the boss. Mm -hmm. So I was, like, stuck at a point. I was like, oh, my God. I think it took me, like, four days to beat the boss, finally. Jeez. Because I had underleveled, like, everyone. I ran into kind of the death keel for an RPG when it was um, it was the third dot hat game, part of the four part series. Uh huh. And I reached a part where you have to go meet Hilda and uh, by yourself solo in um, some really high level zone. Yeah. And you can't go anywhere else. They block <laughs> out every other area. Yeah. I'm not nearly high enough on my own to do it solo. I tried for maybe four hours to reach Hilda. I never could do it. So I just hmm. had to stop. I wasn't high enough level. I couldn't go train. Hilda, there was no... Hilda was the white knight one. Yeah, with the she was the white knight or whatever. With like the really open cleavage and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I vaguely remember that. And I was bummed because I couldn't. I really enjoyed that series, but I was at a de I was at a death point. I Ew. couldn't do anything. The game locked me into a point where maybe I could have gotten past it. But I, at the time, I couldn't figure it out. Yeah. I ran into a similar problem when I played Ocarina of Time way back in the day on the N64 and even on the GameCube version. You realize what just happened there? You peed, yeah, he you spiked peed, it with... No, you peed into it. Oh, I peed into it? Yeah, oh, I mean, he like unzipped his pants, it sounded like, and then started peeing. I was you like, You can't do that, fuck. there's no zipper. Well, I mean, he went like this, like a zip-up motion, a mm. zip-down motion, I was like, wow, that's, that's, that's fucked, fucked up. up. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean... The, uh... So, I mean... Fun fact with me, with Dot .hack, the series, the the first set of games, I don't know, yeah. I think they did some stuff after that, right? I never played four. Yeah. I never finished it. <laughs> I played one through three, and I think there was only four, right? There was only four, yeah. Okay. I didn't, I never found the uh, fourth one to buy. Mm -hmm. Every time I found them, they had up to three. When I went to, I think it was Funko Land at the time, before yeah. they went to GameStop. Oh, Funko Land was the best. Oh, I, I remember it being, I remember it fondly. But uh, they it never, they great, never had four at one time. Fun. So I was like... Well, shit, and by the time I found it, 
Yeah. And I was able to get it like a year it's later. There was a used copy. I was like, I'm, I've kind of like lost interest at this point, you know? Um, my favorite thing about Funko Land, before I go back to the Zelda tangent, was um, the fact that when you walked into that store, at least our local Funko Land, mm -hmm. there which was equivalent always, guys now is is GameStop. It's, it's GameStop. Yeah. It's so much cooler around here because they had kiosks all over the store. And whenever you wanted to try an old game, mm -hmm. they would just open it up, pop it in, and let yeah. you try it. Yeah. You want to buy a Super Nintendo game? Awesome. Here you go. Test it out for 15 minutes. I remember when they had... Uh, I think Oh God! I want to say it was the Wii, but it was definitely like they had an Xbox station, a PlayStation yeah. station, because they and they a, stopped. Uh, they got Nintendo out station right before like the PS3 and all that stuff. Yeah, so they had all of those, so you could play any game you, you could wanted. Play any game you wanted, you know, while you're just chilling there. And, and of course, they'd always... be like, "Hey, you know, are you interested in buying it?" Yeah, and it's like, "Yeah, I'm interested. Cool. Well, you can play the game as much as you want then to try and, you know, test it out. Test see it if out." You want it. And the employees were always super chill. Mm -hmm. Not like when you'd go to Matt's Game Exchange or any one of like a local chain store. Yeah. Just those people go. were back. always in your face, never really wanted to be there, always kind of grumpy. And it always felt when you went to Funko Land. I don't know. I had some good, good experiences, experiences there? with GameStop. Okay. I had, a, I had a couple cool people in there that I've gone in there before. I mean, like, not recently because I haven't gone recently, but like the last couple times I don't mean I GameStop. Went. I meant more so other local chains, but never, even GameStop I've never had too many issues uh -huh. with. I think you're going to have to do the dance to get everyone off your ass. Yeah, I more go. so meant the local stores, like the smaller ones mm -hmm. where they weren't big chains. Okay, gotcha. And they just. Every experience I ever had with those things was always negative, never positive. Yeah. I guess I really only dealt with like Funko Land and GameStop. Um, I didn't even do like I didn't even go to like a place like like uh, Phoenix Games or anything like that, which is our like kind of I guess Funko Land now. It kind of like it's a single guy who owns it, buys yeah. whatever games he bad. wants, and then He's resells a cool dude them. That owns it. I haven't met him, but d he does let you guys play games in there, right? I think so. Like they don't. That? I mean, they don't have the same setup that Funko Land had. Yeah. Um, I thought they had like. A lot of systems. The dude, they do have a lot of systems, though, but the people there are super chill. Like, mm. they're your nerds of the nerds. Not that we're not nerds. Um, <laughs> but they hold, like, D&D &D nights and stuff like that. Like, they're, they do a bunch of different, like, game nights, and they have, like... Um, okay. Dodge the balls that Ted They have, like, a couple arcade machines. The like, they seem to be a local hangout for a lot of people, too. Whoa, yeah. what? You get to dodge the balls that Ted throws and then pick oh. them up and throw them back at the jocks. Sorry. <laughs> exactly what it says on the Shit. thing. And I, yeah, I think they explode because they're all like counterfeit. Where is it? Ones. That's gonna explode on you. Me. Okay. Uh, uh. Oh, maybe once you pick it up, it doesn't. Oh, okay. There it we doesn't go. Uh, explode. Oh, I got it now. Okay, this is an interesting boss fight. So back on games. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> back on games where you get stuck. So maybe like... don't kick it. <laughs> it looks like it. It looks like it uh, falls through. <laughs> For um, Legend of Zelda, his arm is good. Yeah. So it makes Captain. What happened to the music? He makes Brady look like nothing. What look at that the, throw. What happened to the music? I have Did no idea. Did it just idea. straight up like stop playing for the most part? Pretty much. Ted yeah. Doesn't seem that tough. How tough is he compared to an exploding football? Not that tough. Like, oh god, you're gonna get attacked. That's what he thinks. That's what you think. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Uh. There you go. Ted's not that strong. One football and he went down. What a... Why did a crowd gather to see you maul these fucking football players? A ghost crowd? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the crowd and one of them's like... <laughs> freaking out in the background. I like that the coaches are just letting this happen. Well, I, I'm confused because you had, what, one exploded football? You got another one coming at you. There you go. Okay, pick that One up. exploded football? Well, why does he have an infinite amount of them now? I have no idea. I mean, I get it, gameplay-wise. Who's supplying this kid with bombs? Well, you you, black, you packed him in there. Oh, I You did? brought the fucking... Yeah. Jesus. Have you been playing and not paying attention? At Pretty all? much. I'm just going from point to point. <laughs> um, yeah, you're the one who did the counterfeit or... Well, I don't... Whoa! Shit. Shit. And you're dead, pretty much, because your spleen exploded. The uh, You're going to need to get away from that. Or hit him with it. Ah, uh, not next to him. 
Um, I'm fine. The uh, you, have, you have plenty of health. Just to probably. Wow. Oh yeah. I'll Wait, take were that. you holding your butt holding... when it exploded? <laughs> You're like, was... ah, my booty. It's all in the ball, but yeah, my butt. <laughs> Pop him. Pop. Get him. Um. Aaron the, Rodgers uh, ain't got nothing on me. Who is Aaron Rodgers, Samuel? He's the quarterback for um, the Aaron Rodgers boy band, the Packers. Oh. Well, not right now. He broke his collarbone. Oh. Well, I wish him and all of his million dollars. Well, uh, damn, sack his ass. Uh, only the best. Because football is a motherfucker. Uh, did I did win? you did it? Uh, I, I did, did you did it? it. Did you do it? <laughs> yeah! I'm the king of the jocks. Meanwhile, everyone is like, um, what kind of football game is this? <laughs> yeah, for the ghost crowd. That's how we're going to get everyone to watch football again. Fuck the, uh, fact, fuck the fucking controversy with the anthem and everything. We're just going to load explosives into all the fireball, or fireballs, into all the fucking footballs. I mean, football's already the most watched sport, so. Right, well, it's hurting, evidently, because Papa John's is fucking whining his little ass off about pizza sales are really low because of the controversy with fucking saluting the flag. And so blah, what I've blah, heard blah. is um, one of the reasons why. He no. says 15. Sorry. Oh, wow. Wow, he's a lot younger than I was. One reason I've heard that things are starting to dwindle down is the oversaturation of how much football is being shown. That makes sense. I mean, I don't watch football, so... I don't fuck. particularly like football. Yeah. I don't have anything against uh, it. Uh-oh. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Wow. Someone's pompous as Yeah, fun. how much can we fucking pop that collar? Wow. I like that <laughs> United and everyone's like, Yeah, Jimmy, we, you beat the shit out of us. You're so awesome. Yeah, but where's your buddy? Yeah. <laughs> I like the... Yeah. You fucking... Hey, baby. Yeah. How you doing? Exactly. Yeah. What you doing later? Just remember, Jimmy. Not everybody likes yeah. you. Correct. Like they love Chris and Sam. Well, what about Gary? Yeah. Gary. Uh, what about that twerp? I really it's hope Gary now. knocks his ass like, out now. Friend, so please try to be cool. Hmm. Oh, man, you're bringing me down. You're bringing me Come down, on, Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy, you sell out. We might even find you. I don't even. Piece wow. of shit. I want to go that far. Well, yeah, maybe we will go that far. Well, let's say before we fucking have a massive oh, yeah. problem. I think making a mark. Before we hit on another girl and she crashes our game because we're acting like a sleaze bag. Yeah. Uh, making a mark is, yeah, your next, your first story mission. This is the last chapter, baby. Don't please. hit anyone going through the door. Please, 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 <laughs> please, please. <sighs> oh, making your mark is actually inside of that area where you currently are. So that'll be an easy one to load back up into. Well, we'll be yeah. back soon, guys. Next time. Be bop boop. With more preppy, stupid haircuts. And I'm going to put on a You can't put on your catchphrase at the fucking end of this episode, dude. I can't? There's, yeah, there's according to rule number B52, you're not allowed to. To go back with the classic? I kind of don't think we got enough play through the Einstein. Mm. Like, I really like the Einstein. Yeah, we'll see what we got.